Okay. Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here, one only. How are my adventures doing? Hope you, you guys are having a fantastic day. Welcome back to, um, Reputation New Craft. I do apologize for the last video. I did get allergies again. And you guys mostly know that I don't upload on the weekends. I mostly stream, but since Alice has her exam brief, we're going to skip this week. And next week, I have plans for a retro stream. But <laughs> the things I ordered haven't came in yet. I mean, it says, hold on. It says it's supposed to be here today. It hasn't even shipped. So clearly something's going on. Because I was going to do it this week, but because I was waiting on that, I was hoping I would show up early, but no, it still hasn't even shipped. Yeah, still hasn't even shipped yet. That's strange, but I, I guess that's how it goes. Hmm. But anywho, um, about the game, I genuinely, genuinely believe this game has a lot of potential. Well, this private server has a lot of potential. First of all, I like this little dragon. I think they actually made this. I say that's actually pretty dope. Yeah, all types of colors. I would genuinely like the green one. My favorite color is green. So I would take the green one out of that. But uh, they also have like. A really good table. I will say that. They're making like really good tables. I've never seen this one. I swear every time I go to these private server. It looks like some of this stuff is newly handmade. And I'm pretty sure. Most of you guys are handmaking like new shit I wouldn't I wouldn't even put it past you really oh yeah here it is I forgot I couldn't read that because I did not update the launcher until like half of the video was done so has anything changed with the purple weapons nope the purple weapons are still the same okay But we are going to dungeon rush this since it seems like we can easily catch up our gear and stuff inside of the this. So I'm curious at how that goes. Uh, Hold on. Hold on. Where? The hell is that noise? Why does that sound familiar? Anyhow. That way, wait a minute. That's a new item. That's a relic. Oh, hold up. Wait, what? Why is mounts inside of here? Oh, because you can use them in dungeons on this. Ah, you can use them in dungeons on this. That's why. It's just weird that there aren't many players, though, considering this server actually has a lot of potential. But my theory here so far is that level 50 is probably the max. If I could see these two. No, level 60. No, they're level 60. Huh. I think it could be 100 cap. He reincarnate. Wait, did they reincarnate? Hold on. I didn't actually look at that. No, neither of them are reincarnated. I've yet to see a reincarnated person. But it's like it's so odd. Why is there nobody, you know, running around? Am I being bamboozled? Is this server a lot less known than it should be? 
Or did Violet take over? Or did some kind of controversy happen? This genuinely puzzles me quite a bit. Okay, here's my old set. Did they change anything on it? Okay, no, this is exactly still the same. Nothing has been changed about that. That's a little 40. Okay, so anywho, this map, well, this game you can use. Oh shit, I did not change. Oh no, I had to reinstall because I accidentally deleted the game. So <laughs> let me just go ahead and fix that. But I say it just puzzles me. Either that or people did not like the rework. It's either that or people did not like the rework to the point where they didn't want to play on the server. It's one of those things. Oh, you can use this one inside dungeon too. So everything is usable inside of dungeon. Okay. Okay, okay. Huh. It's puzzling me for sure. That's for sure. It's just very, very puzzling. I need someone I can sell to. Damn it, you're not one of them. Maybe it was closed for a while and um, people forgot about it. That's also another thing that could happen. Uh, so far, let's see. Is anything new in here? Uh, no, this is still the same. Right, since it's basically a back on track of of date wise, uh, I can actually get back into this. Cease, cease the activities. I genuinely do want to see what's, if anything in this book has changed. Uh, nothing in here has changed. Yeah, nothing in inside of, like the main book has changed at all. Okay. So that's still the same. Nothing inside of this car thing has changed either. That's the weird thing so far. I haven't seen anybody change the card, the starter card yet. We've seen Violet change the. Um, The books, one of these books. Finally found the Baconator. Like, I'm just so puzzled right now. Because it doesn't feel right. <laughs> That um, there aren't large, large amount of uh, players, but they have uh, what was it? But they have a band list.
It's not a, it's not like a huge amount of people who got banned, but they have a ban list. I guess because uh, people, I don't know. I was about to say, I, I was going to guess that it wasn't a lot of people advertising the server. The only way I found about found out about the server was um, one person uploaded a video about it. And there's only like one video of it. So it's, it's it's throwing me off, dude. Like my brain just cannot cope with what the fuck's going on. So if anybody's ever played this server and have any detail of what the fuck went on, that'd be great. That'd be very great to know. So I gotta understand the issues of what's going on. But then again, it doesn't look like the um, team is very active on the server. That's also uh, something a lot of players don't like. You're not like very active because people, believe it or not, people like to interact with developers and their team. That, that is that is a thing that you guys have to keep in mind as well. People love the interaction. Because they're always looking for new events as well. People love events. People love live events. I guess I kind of worded that weird. People like events and live events. And I say, because if you're doing a lot of events, that keeps people interested in, like, you know, rewards to help them progress. Or fun little things that you can, you know, unique things you can get, like titles and stuff for entering those little activities, too. I say, people really enjoy that. I just don't see it happening here. <laughs> Which, like I said, throws throws me the fuck off. I don't, I don't know how to process that. So literally, all we have to do is dungeon rush this time. Um, I say we normally go all in and just. Full on record the progress and everything for a few episodes, then we start going through the old style of editing. Well, not old style, new style of editing, though, just fast forwarding through open world stuff. Just give it that justice it deserves on the start. Now we could go turn this into Owen. I remember correctly, you should have a quest too, right? Yeah, feathers. And plus, you can earn everything through just farming gold too. That's another thing. Like you would, you would think people would be extremely interested in that. Like getting everything just by farming. And I'm pretty sure I read something about like magic clay dropping from bosses. So that's very unique. I say, I wonder how much the the quests have been enhanced. I don't think they've probably really been enhanced all that much, right?
But yeah, like I said, it has a lot of potential. Like a huge amount of potential. Just really depends on like where they're where they're really wanting to head with this. I say that's that's the thing. I say I just don't see what direction that they're trying to head with it just yet. And the weirder thing is that I haven't seen a single, like, level 100 or anything above, like, level 60. Does it get way, way harder to grind past that point? Or is it just, like, PvP? Because I kind of feel like I, I doubt it's PvP. Like, no way it's... Just it's PvP. Okay, the quests being separated like that is pretty fucking annoying, not gonna lie. <laughs> you also gotta remember speed as well. A lot of people do like the whole speed and feeling like they're completing something faster. I always wish I had like a huge list of everything that is new inside of the servers. So there's clearly NPCs that that you don't know if is new per server. Cause not a lot of Gravitation's NPCs are like very rememberable. Only certain ones. One being Jessica Owen, just because you start out inside of Kazlau most of the time, not only or you'll end up in Kazlau most of the time just because of PC. Not only that, the other uh, other known NPC is Marlin, and what's his name inside of uh, Ancient Forest. Is that Marlon? I don't think that's Marlon. Never mind. I was saying he was well known in my head. But I'm, I I feel like I'm getting that name also mixed up with uh, Angelo. That, yeah, Angelo. That's who it was. Because you got to take him that medicine. Like I said, there's quite a few rememberable like, NPCs. It's just odd that none of the servers have put up like any any list of NPCs that they've added and what they do. So players can, you know, go through them and just be like, okay, I can check that NPC. Or any NPC that's been changed in general, really. I would definitely say at the moment this is the most underdog server out of like all the other private servers. Cause the other two are the other two feel like titans compared to this one.
Hmm. Our gear is terrible, but we're also not getting like any gear wise. Well, any of the sprites we need aren't showing up. So I don't know if we're going to brute force it or anything just yet. I am curious at how much gold we're going to be getting from the um, PC cave um, mission order. I mean, it's still going to make it a lot easier just because we have Light Guard. Light Guard is going to make a lot of things a lot easier. Hmm. Oh, God damn it! Every time I realize that none of the music is playing. How? Oh, so I'll leave it right here. Like, every server has this bug. I'll leave it right here. The next time I open a game, it's like, oh, that's way too low. Then it'll just turn it off altogether. Every time. I don't know why. Uh, since we're here, we're going to turn into Outer Quest the Gate. Oh, another person on. Level 60. Okay. So. Now I'm thinking level 60 is the cap. I. Hmm. If there is a cap. Then that could kind of understand why. Oh, wait, there is an easy way to understand the cap ranking level 60 is the cap that's what it is level 60 is genuinely the cap okay that's why a lot of players aren't on the server it's just because the cap is way too low so level 60 is going to stop me at, oops, there we go. It's going to stop me at Mystic, right? No, I won't even get past Mystic. Huh. Okay, so this might actually be a pretty fast, um... Pretty fast little, uh, series. Considering how... How it kind of feels like it's more behind, but at the same time... I would actually stick with it too because like I said it's an underdog server if anything and it has a lot more potential to where you can get like a lot of rewards and get ready for like most of the stuff they do make or decide to change shit like that because there is a level cap on memories as well which is level 90 so you're not going to be getting your final your final skills for your final class change. The thing that comes to mind is they're probably thinking of balance right now. 
But that's what a lot of the servers are doing is balancing. Oops, I am killing the wrong thing. I say, does this server have bonus XP? Oh, double XP? I never thought about double XP on a... on a times five server. Because if memories had to, so it's not very noticeable. <laughs> I think because you're always like, you're taking more damage than you need. So, and plus enemies die a lot slower to where you really don't feel it. I need to ask how, or how if you're watching this video, like how are your guys' servers going? Is it like full on times four or five, like all day? Or is it just like for like a few hours? Or is it just a special thing you do after an update? And it's just like the base XP receive if that's not going on. Because I'm genuinely curious now. Because it does feel like you level a lot slower when it comes to like when it comes to memories. Out of all the servers it feels like memories is the slowest leveling. I haven't saved my soul yet. And so far, Violet's the only one that uh, actually does reincarnation as well. That's a thing that uh, X Legends needs to capital capitalize on. Because people, some people actually really do enjoy the reincarnation sim system, but it's kind of like you have to give us some cooler abilities. Because the ones they gave us eventually got, you know, reworked. They're, they seem a lot better so far, at least for Druid. Ours is a lot better because we can regen. I mean, on this server, you can also see it as well. Since it is the rework version of skills. Well, we got Light Guard. Light Guard was reworked. Because Light Guard used to like push enemies away at a certain <laughs> at a certain threshold of HP. It was fucking useless. Because well, it was fucking useless inside of your melee forms. Inside of your magic forms, it actually helped quite a bit. But here's the issue. It was... It gave you, like, I think 40%... A chance of 40% resist. Well, yeah. 40% chance of damage down or damage reduction. Something around that area. And it had a chance to push back enemies. It was a low chance to put back enemies, but if you were in a group of enemies, it would push away a lot. And I'm pretty sure this also messed with uh, the Gaia chain combo, which was also annoying. Like, the constant stun 
if an enemy actually hits you, it could push all enemies out and they would reset and start hitting you again. Pretty sure that was also still a thing. Um, okay. Now we go to this guy. And then we have the other skill that just decreased. That just decreased um, the movement speed. Yeah, it only decreased the movement speed, which, in my opinion, was still very awful because. Only funny thing is, we could use this inside of any form. This this was the best skill because we can use these two, the new reincarnated skills that we had. We could use it like in any form that we were in, which was so fucking good. So this was really good for like. This was really good for picking out enemies. So if an enemy was inside of a group, you would hit them with this. And it will bring that enemy to you. You had a chance of bringing like just one enemy to you. You could just like pull it out. But it it's so much better now because of the mana region and the fact that I believe the devs figured out how mana hungry Druid is, especially Wolfhorn. Wolfhorn is like highly, highly mana. Mana dependent. Also highly gold dependent too. Very, very gold dependent. It's not even a joke of how gold dependent it is. I'm going to be using a lot of the gold that I earn here. <laughs> a lot of the gold that I earned here is probably going to be used on uh, my skills like always but the thing is they have the level 100 um, they have the level 100 sprites so I'm pretty sure you can crack your gear like very ahead of time you just can't use it and then there's also another question it's like are they soft lock? Are they like soft capping it to where, you know, it's it's storing up that XP for when the the new level cap comes out? Then we just all just big level all the way up there. Or are they just hard capping it to where it's like you'll lose XP? So good fucking luck, like going ahead. If they're planning on adding more, it should be a soft cap. Yeah, still nothing? I still have yet to get a fucking sprite, bruh. Even though I don't have everything for it. Why does spell feel a lot stronger than it, than it should be? Because I don't remember ever one-shotting with that. If I remember correctly, is this a... I don't think that's a living weapon. But what I truly want to see is like a lot of gears being made. A lot of like new gears. Oh, remove a random buff every five seconds. Wait a fucking minute. I don't think that's. Ah, hold on a second. Excuse me? 
when being attacked. I feel like that is a new thing. I don't remember that being a thing in the profit area. Oh, this was changed. What the way? Wait a minute. Level 40? I just thought about that. Level level 40? No wonder that's not something I fucking remember. These are like handmade items. Okay, yeah. The shit like this. That That's something I like to see. Is handmade stuff. This is all newly made stuff by them. Hold on. Because this could influence a different route other than uh, magic. Depending on the weapons. What's this? 100% um, chance of stunning. No, standard attacks have a second... Blah, blah. <laughs> Words. Standard attacks have a 25% chance of double hitting. Second damage is a fucking weird way of phrasing that, not gonna lie to you. Very, very weird. But the fact that this gives a region is actually very nice. And it has a chance of double hitting. Actually. Bird form would love the hell out of this. Hmm. Okay. Got my attention on the gear, Craig. You definitely have my attention on that. Let's say profit has a. Profit being shared with Templar is like it's like massively terrifying because of all the damage reduction you can get from it. And I feel like Profit in this would become instantly a terrifying ass tank for no reason. The movement speed here is actually very great if you want to go like a um, wolf form or gorilla form. This is this seems like a very heavy wolf form relic. So what's going on here? Okay, HP regen, double hit, more HP, uh, damage reduction, and chance of Crit increase. Evasion by 12%. Jesus. Uh, chance of range damage increase in its stacks. Oh, actually, I don't know if range is any different in this one. To where you can actually shoot up close. and Because I, if I remember correctly, Violet removed theirs. The whole distance you have to be in order to hit an enemy. They removed that shit. A lot of people hated that for Ranger. Okay, this is another relic. Reduces magic defense by 18%. Uh, or damage reflection. So that's only major stuff so far. Uh, what is this? This is a unique. 10% uh, crit chance, 5% movement speed, along with magic skill seal. That's more of a PvP thing. Uh, own movement speed increase by 15%. Move speed, HP. What's about this one? 
This is the opposite for magic and physical lock. Okay. But this one's your own cast speed. I would more than likely be using this one. If I'm going to go down a route I'm thinking of. So I'm guessing there's a PvP set in here for level 40s. Nature, oh god, it's not the whole fucking nature system bullshit. Okay. So this isn't half bad for leveling. Because, first of all, you get 20% added to your... To, to your form skills? That's actually a lot of fucking damage. Not only that... When attacked, you have a chance of giving a small misfortune. That, that, I doubt that works on bosses, but... If anything, the only thing that's good that comes out of that is the 20% damage. I'm sorry, I'm getting distracted. Because there's a lot of interesting things showing up in my face, and I, I gotta, gotta know what the hell's going on here. Auto Misfortune actually continues. Wait a minute. Okay, so this doesn't seem... Do Hold on a second. Because that my brain... Is this actually already a thing? Or is this modified? I feel like this is modified. Okay, we're almost done. We just gotta go to these two quests and beat the boss for that area. Did I miss something? Oh yeah, there's level 60. I was about to say, excuse me? Okay, so they just increase over time. Okay, that's the one I remember. But uh, they didn't change anything in about purple weapons or anything like that. Oh, wait, 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 wait. There's one thing I would love to know. If, if you could fucking stop, mate, that would be great. But um, I wonder if they did the whole thing that I've talked about that's weird. That's very, very weird. Are you able to equip purple runestones, not purple runestones, yellow runestones, on red weapons? Because it makes no sense that red weapons cannot accept, like, yellow. Like, that just never made sense to me, that red weapons cannot accept both yellow and red. Now, I understand why purple can't receive red. But why the fuck can red weapons not receive yellow yellow rune stones? That just puzzled the shit out of me and made no sense. I say, aren't aren't those weapons supposed to be like you know superior to that? The only reason that I feel like Rework Druid is, like, also terrifying because of the percentage. Like, the percent... <laughs> the percent value out of, like, 
a lot of the hills is great, especially if you build like very high tank magic. Ah, there it is. Ran out of mana. And it's only because of light. Light guard. That I ran out of mana. Okay, okay. That's the last of my skills there. I say it's going to definitely be a while before. Definitely going to be a while before um, this server has like a true presence, is what I feel. What if they changed any other titles that you receive? Nope, none of the white titles have been changed. Okay. And so far, reputation hasn't been. Reputation receiving hasn't been enhanced. So, reputation farming is still a thing. Well, still probably a heavy thing, but um, let's see. Maybe they increased it through like one of the NPCs, actually. Yeah, here goes. Here goes a few reputation things you can get out of that. But um, oh, actually, weirdly enough, they took out the other reputation things that you usually farm. And only have the beginner reputation. Huh. That's... Excuse me, that's odd to me. I only need to kill a few more enemies. <laughs> I will say this, I do love their loading screens, though. Their loading screens do you look very unique. Reputation receiving needs to be, well, yeah, actually, reputation is very, very, very heavy on one class, well, technically two classes, which is Key Master and Void Runner. Those, those two classes actually need reputation increases, like, very badly. Unless they remove the reputation mechanic from. Unless they remove the reputation mechanic from the Time Traveler and Void Runner. Which hopefully they did. So people don't suffer on that. Because that was. I feel like that was the dumbest fucking idea of locking a class behind reputation. And having a lot of their talents like locked behind that I say nobody liked farming that okay so I am now level time to go to the class master Hey, how you doing? So, 
is is this gonna be able to it's gonna do what I think it did it does ah it is it's gonna give us a choice instead of like actually giving it to us damn somehow I I knew it was gonna fucking happen all right so the server for now does not have that option to where it gives you all three you have, you still have to choose Um, out of this, the question is, which one was fucking better? The mana regen will help a lot, but combination-wise is the issue. Because I feel like this one gave us a better combination for magic, but this one's just a lot better in general. Yep. Okay, so here we go. Mana cost. Yep. Okay, there right. that 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 works. Now all I gotta do is get a fucking <laughs> is get a fucking staff sprite. Sooner or later that will happen. Uh, for starting out, if you guys make, like, new beginner starter weapons that, you know, kind of act like, um, they kind of act like legacy gear. If you guys, if any of the servers ever do that, please add a stat, staff, or each, each class needs their, like, how do I say it? Each class needs their own weapons like one one of every weapon so let's say for a warrior you would need an axe what's this oh just restores okay that's pretty neat i guess even though wait what huh that's useless ain't it unless you were to respawn back here But anyway, as I was saying, like, if you're going to do anything legacy gear-wise, make a living weapon as well. But add in, like, one piece of each gear. Because, let's say, a druid wants to do, like, a magic build, he can use the staff. If druid wants to use, like, a more physical build, you can use the hammer. Like, we only use hammer and staff. And for warrior, they need shield, axe, hammer. What was the other one? Great sword or sword. You know, they have all of that that they can choose and go through with. I say that that does help. Just saying, that does help. Ah, that's what they are. They're PvP items. You can only use get these through PvP. You cannot craft these. So they're slightly... We're well, not forcing you to PvP. Unless this is like an open world. Type of horse? Oh, I don't like that. You move like once and it just turns it off. That's that's actually fucking annoying. Yeah, you could buy this get with gold. The question is, what's going on here then? Like, where do we see what value is this? Is that PvP? Yeah, I think that is PvP. Yeah, this is PvP stuff. It sucks that, um... That this is PvP only? Items? Yeah, it's definitely PvP only, because you can read the names. Battlefield Conqueror, Champion of Arena.
But the only neat, other neat thing is that you can get it, get these without having to do all that. And these are actually pretty decent, unless they are PvP only as well. Okay, no, nah, not enough coins. Yep, these are PvP. Um, hold on. I say the hearts here. It's been a long time since I PvP, but I'm pretty sure those are exclusive points to PvP. I'm not a huge PvP person, so I won't be going for that. I I've never been interested in PvP when it comes to Grand Potato. Well, I, I can't actually can't say that. I I am no longer interested in their PvP. Oh, this is a passive thing. I forgot that. Yeah, that changed. Yeah, as an old veteran, I just I just can't do PvP anymore, man. I say it used to be fun, like back then, but there were still a lot of balancing issues <laughs> to where there was like. Dude, it was back in like beginner PvP. There was this warrior that just ran around who was already like fully geared. We couldn't kill him. If he was on your side, there was a good chance you won. So every time we queued up, man, we were just going going at it. Plus, PvP doesn't seem to be very highly focused inside of here, inside of this server. With the lack of people that's currently going on right now. I guess I should say the main focus of the players should word that a lot better. But yeah, it doesn't feel like the main focus of the players. So, Parent Cave isn't opened yet, so we're done with all that. Wait a minute. Are we behind on XP? Or did I just mix, miss a few quests? Probably missed a few quests. That's weird. Okay. Yeah, they still have the certificates. Um Kinda hoping they make some like PV PVE gear too. That drops from like bosses inside of dungeon. Because that would actually, because that's an idea I've been looking and hoping that one of the servers do. Like, make it enticing. Make 
make people want to actually like enter dungeons, man. And I feel like adding gear drops, like actual like unique gear drops would be like very beneficial to getting people to want to do dungeons and wanting to like constantly farm a dungeon just to get that weapon. Even if it is just to archive it, if you're able to make like a little section for it, that does help. Oh, there's where we gave, okay. Okay, so the main thing I don't like here is that this server still costs like two transport stones. We've already established that that makes absolutely no fucking sense. <laughs> For it to cost like two, it makes absolutely no sense at all. I don't I don't get why what X Legend was thinking with that. I did save my soul, right? No, I did not. Son of a bitch. Well, I actually can go back there. Just because I can run back and uh, hit you. Yeah, we have plenty of time. I mean, like, plenty of time to actually hit the um, Fairy Cave. Like I said, I really don't like these missions are separated like this, too. That's, that's actually very annoying. Okay, so they do have this, how much is it going to give? Only 500. Or just one stack. Okay. Guess I should have looked at that before I gave it to him, but... Alright. But yeah, not, not much on that. Which means there's still a little bit of grind behind this, which isn't which isn't too bad. They haven't changed that. Okay. So let's go ahead and set up the helper now. Because we're gonna need that a lot. Because our mana is gonna be draining quite a lot. Uh, 25% would be a lot more beneficial there. And since we don't have like a lot of HP, well, a lot of uh, gear right now, probably going to put this around 50 to use that. And we're going to have this to where it is used at 80%. Just until I can see how much damage we're going to be taking. Okay, so we do have the blessing. So it shouldn't be too much of a hassle. Uh, we are going to bring out a sprite for this.
So far, we haven't received anything that... Anything that increases... Our progress. Hold on. I'm gonna finish that sentence. Um... Okay. Yeah, as I was saying, for some reason, we really don't have anything that increases our progress towards, like, leveling. Like, we haven't really... We haven't really received, like, any charms or anything like that. Okay, so they don't have the annoying bug so far of being locked into battle by the poison. Because if you guys didn't know, uh, the official server has a real bad issue with this spider area to where you can get locked into combat and you cannot sit down and rest at all. Or use like anything that would, you know, that you can use outside of combat. Okay, each kill gives us a bar, which is good. reason we're not taking much damage is just because new druid's um skill is automatically on the new passive this shit this shit right here <laughs> is on always Not, not also is another thing is that we're not going to be taking damage because we also have defense as well added on to that. Shit, I guess I should have been doing this, huh? Uh, since I won't be using that hammer, this hammer, for a while, maybe I should add magic to it until I can get something else. Nah, maybe I should just keep it on that because I don't know what the hell could happen. Oh, not only that, 100%. <laughs> I forgot about that 50% uh, blind, too. You only give us, you only get a little bit of chance to, like, actually hit us. I forgot about that. I guess I should take this out, too, so I can have, like, a longer rotation. Because we don't have many attack skills.
in a group, it's only funny because you can keep an enemy blinded. Well, 50% blind. Just because of his skill. There's a chance you can help out your tank quite a lot, but it's, it depends on, like, do you really want to be in range of the boss? If your tank is on that. But if you have two tanks, then yeah, they can rotate out um, blinds. Or at least two melee characters. Yeah, you could stop that. Damn it, mage. Mage boots. Okay, this is, here's a thing that we can also test and see too. If we need a, if we need a key. Ah, fuck. Yep, I realized, I realized you guys are probably yelling at me right now. It's like, hey, bro, you, you know you skipped, like, <laughs> you know you, you skipped, like, getting your mission order, right? <laughs> God damn it. So another thing, hold up, hold up. Are you able to enter? No, no, you're not. Fuck. That's the little thing inside of the server. You're not able to enter mutant mutated dungeon. Oh, I can't even use it anyway. Yeah, hold on. This server's XP feels a lot lower. Feels like it it feels like the official server. Huh. Okay. Well then. I should level off this anyway, so it's a good thing that we uh, have to start over. Oh, that, there's, a, there's a mean little hit from that guy. That was a crit too. Oh, now you're not longer critting. They don't have any stun potential. Okay, so we can see what else they have. Okay, they don't have anything unique. Okay, we have that now. Let's see. Is there anything out of this that I am missing? I guess I should use the mission order. There we go. Ooh, okay. 25 gold for doing that. Okay, okay, okay. I like that. 25 gold? Shit. Okay, so with the lack of XP, dungeon rushing could be the goal here. <laughs> At least until I actually get enough gold for my first sprite. Because level 50 isn't hard to get to, even inside of the, like, the official server. It just really depends on like their vision. Are they going for more fun, more balanced. 
I say that's what I mean when I don't see what they're aiming for so far. So it, it looks like they're going, they're trying to aim more free to play, but at the same time, you they're reworking skills and you know changing them, nerfing them, balancing them, shit like that. But you, but you're also like. It's just weird. We just gotta see what what path they're actually trying to head first. How the fuck did I just miss a key? Damn it. correctly these guys have a stun right yeah they have a slow yeah there it is there's that big attack I was worried about but I also have life still For some reason. Save the skill miss. It's either that or they're they're purposely setting it up to where you would have to, you know, come back again. With how little XP you get. Either that or no, because in the official server quests kinda outdid. Dungeon farming? I have no reason to use this, so I'm not going to be losing a lot of uh, mana. But if I were to use it, this would drain heavily, and I wouldn't be able to, like, keep up. I'm also going to use this guild at the same time. Now doing this strat with the hounds is, like I said, is a lot more trickier because of misfortune. Because so far we were like leveling pretty decently. With just quests? Decently? Not like a whole bunch though. Oh, 
And we're gonna try the hounds. See what goes on in it. Okay, it seems like I'm not gonna be taking that huge amount of damage so far. So, even with ability. Okay, they. I was say the AI still takes a while to target onto you. Gotta make sure they all follow along my little dog army. As long as I ain't getting disabled or anything like that, exhausted. Like, exhaust would. Well, actually, no, exhaust would be fine. Because I'm using magic skill right now. Well, actually, isn't this physical? Yeah, it actually, exhaust would suck from our curse. Aw, oh, look at them nicely just waiting for each other to get in here. Being able to do this at an early stage is actually pretty nice, though. <laughs> ah, my ears. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I don't like any of that. I don't like any of this now. Two levels, nice. Still no gear for me though. No staffs or anything. Oh shit, I was supposed to be checking what you guys drop. Oh yeah, River still drops that little book. Huh. Those drop anything else from what I see. There's also no need for them to, like, you know, rush, really. Just go at their own pace. When it comes to, like, you know, doing the whole service thing. I say, like I, like I said, every, every server should just enjoy the development. Just have fun, man. Okay, so I guess we'll see if we need keys. I say rework druid is very tanky. Especially if you can add on like, um, especially if you can add on like uh, the protection emblem. Thing is, we could still die off of a good skill though. Just doing this, we can we can very easily still die. Yep, like that. Like, we can actually still die pretty easily.
There we go. Got that quest done. Like I said, we can still die pretty easily with just like very, very good play skills by these enemies. Would have sucked because we would have lost our defense boost too after gaining it. Go with me, my child. We have many things to see. So try not to take on too many enemies. <laughs> I was about to say, what the fuck? Am I getting misfortune right? I forgot, that's also another terrifying thing. I'm so used to Old Druid because even all the private servers have Old Druid to where I keep forgetting that this is another terrifying thing about Reworked Druid is that, um, <laughs> is that you have heals on everything now, on basically everything. Okay, yeah, there there we go. Priest robe. Finally. Something something budged out of that. <laughs> Cause I've been sitting here, I was like, dude, there has to be a robe around here somewhere. Give me something. Like budge damage. Budge. <laughs> uh so magic increase. Okay. That's automatically very fucking good for me. Ooh, oof. Um, damn, son. Oh, yeah, a table. Wait. The fuck? Do we not have a table? We don't have a table. Wait, wait a, wait, wait a minute. Did I skip over that? <laughs> I guess I did. What the fuck? <laughs> I didn't even realize that we didn't have a table. Well, shit. Good thing that they're cheap as shit to get. Okay, we have two keys. You do not need keys. That has been removed. Thank God. I should be good. Okay. Greed shouldn't be an issue. Unless C starts popping skills. Then that should be the issue. Yeah, he has a quill book. Uh, doesn't seem like anything else unique that drops from him.
Oh yeah, you also gotta remember that the uh, the title too gives ten percent of all stats. That's another reason why we're tanky. On the bright side, he can't one-shot us. That would be our only, like, true downfall. Oh, he didn't actually get a good debuff that time. There it is. Now he got the debuff. I say, the thing about New Druid is like, skill cycling to be invincible is a thing. It just requires timing and paying attention to your buffs. <laughs> and I say, the Druid rework was actually very good. It was just very confusing. I went back to it in a actually played around with it on the official server a little bit. I was like, I never really got like the true chance to like fully try it out because by the time it was a thing, I already reincarnated and never got like a huge amount in Cause like I've told you guys, I'm used, I'm very used to old Druid. For some reason, my control, my control abilities are not working, so I have to manual these. I don't know what's going on with that, but it's actually very annoying. That's not what I'm looking for. Yeah, for some reason my control abilities are not worth. I thought I'd die for there for a second. And then they got that. Guess I might as well take it since I'll be dungeon rushing. Oh, hi. You really don't have to defend him. You can just walk past these guys. Because as long as you get to the to the dude first, you're fine. Plus, he'll also teleport you to you if you get like far away enough. Yeah, let's see. So now they have. Oh, okay. Oh, Jesus. Um. 
It's a lot of stuff. So certificates can be turned them to you. I never do these certificate things at all. I normally ignore the hell out of this. I never touch these. So, okay. So it's either gain their gems for an actual, like, you know, permanent thing. Or certificate for different. Okay, I was just. Oh, okay, you get a stage for a title too. Crazy Invader. Beast. Oh. It doesn't tell us what they do, though. That's the only thing that puzzles the hell out of me. So, rerunning all the dungeons just to collect all of these tokens, too, is... ...is also something. Okay, so they are leading players to redo dungeons over and over again. Just for that. Okay, I kind of like that. Anything? Okay, they didn't change anything really much in there. Uh, oh yeah, hold on. Well, no. That sucks. I haven't seen any other private servers try to change, um... Try to change titles to where they're more nicer to people. <laughs> I've only seen them make their own titles. And their own titles are like really good. And doesn't really have a downfall like the dungeon titles. So it makes me think like. Why wouldn't they change the dungeon titles too? To where they're more of a benefit than a hindrance. Grass Whisper. Yeah, that quest is done. Gotta go to you. Well, I could just run there. I know exactly where you are, plus it's pretty close. Okay, the real question is, did we get enough to start crafting? Oh no. We did not because we still have to do the other thing. Oh, let's do this. Get rid of all that. Okay, so now we can go back into those. I'm also surprised nobody's tried to turn clay into like a currency thing. <laughs> Which would be terrible because people rely on selling those for gold too. Wouldn't be wouldn't surprise me if somebody did it though. Like I said, dude, another thing that you guys can do is is just take some ideas from the other servers and implement them too. If you like an idea in a different server, I'd say just dick your hands in that little goodie bow and just yoink it.
That would be helpful. That would massively be helpful with how much of a hoarder I am. And no, I didn't say whore. Even though, you know, it's kind of there, but you know. <laughs> uh, oh shit, duh. I was supposed to be grabbing stuff. Um, what we need to do is make that. Not without the table, Wolf. Not without the table. God damn it. <laughs> Buy your table. Oh, I gotta buy two tables. And it does help rerunning those dungeons too. Oh, wait, we don't get dumb and dungeon limited. We can keep running that dungeon. Huh. <clears throat> okay, that's actually... That's actually not half bad. Inside of this one, you can you can dungeon as much as you want and get the benefits out of it. Okay, I, I kind of starting to see where their vision is lying. It seems like they want a more dungeon heavy. A more dungeon heavy uh route where you could farm and you know get what you want through dungeons which i don't think that's a bad idea it's just that like i said you're gonna have to add something more enticing to those dungeons like level 20 um custom gears for a uh, parry or level 30 actually level 30 custom gears for that area because it, it there's no problem reusing like any of these weapons you don't have to redesign the weapons you really don't i say if you want to re redesign the yeah redesign the weapons at least add placeholders first of these just use whatever asset you have in there and redesign it later but having something that's more interesting for the player to go in and grab could benefit you in the long run if you're trying to go for more dungeon heavy as i see that you guys are trying to you know lean more to pvp a lot of the servers are leaning more to pvp actually now that i think about it except for memory memory is leaning towards more of like more competitive and co cooperative. They're leaning more into like something actually like difficult and challenging, more like a hardcore mode. That's that's how I would see memories. Memory is a hardcore Grand Fantasia. That that's what it is. That's been on like my head for a while now. It is legit. Not even joking, a hardcore version of Grand Fantasia. I don't know why it took me so long to like actually think of the words for that. Oh, that's nice. You can buy the no penalty ones early. Oh, and XP's. Okay, here we go. But first, I would save and get these. Hands down, these would be the best things to get first. Staff would be the first thing because the relic is also on there as well. So yeah, if you wanted to spend like a lot of time just getting stronger and fast enough to complete parry, you can definitely do that, that's for sure. Alright, we're already at the two hour mark, yep. 
part of me wants to go into that dungeon again until we get um until we are able to get the next dungeon plus i do want to get another token out of that just so we can do the costume thing as well Oh, hey. Rare boss. Or rare monster. There we go. I wonder how many achievement hunters there actually are inside of a uh, Gravitasia. Gloves next. While you're getting gloves, we're going to have you grab claws. But yeah, so far, nothing. Nothing like uh, over the top so far. Still seems pretty, pretty tamed, if I was to say. But just quality of life. A lot of stuff I can get rid of because a lot of it we're not going to use. That was a quest. Because having like farmable sets or just just weapons is very something I'm pretty sure a lot of people would be into because a lot of people rerun rerun dungeons because it's out of wow just for certain weapons too that keeps players consistent consistently want to like you know come back and do shit like that. I don't know. Hey, leave leave a comment down below if if that's something you guys are like very interested in. It's like more of like you know, going in and farming like cool weapons is outside of dungeon or are you guys just more earn it some other way? Okay, so let's let's go ahead and go there. Turn some of this in and see where it stops at. Do we have everything? Okay, so we have everything towards those. Grab that. Oh shit, you don't have any of it. Ah, that's so annoying. It be like that. <laughs> no, not that. Um, no, not that. My brain. There it is. <laughs> okay, so we have... Uh, let's see, how much does one give us? Around like 200. That's as much as we can get. Around 200. It doesn't really tell us the the number of it right here. As you can see, it doesn't give us the number of points on this server. It just tells us we earned those points. I also believe there's there should be a way if an item grays out 
I feel like that time should be cut in half as well. Because your sprite should be a master of, of finding that already. That's another idea that, you know, anybody can, like, pick at. Still need two more. Oh god, the key spawned in here this time. Yeah, that's done. Did I not already have the boots? Apparently I did not. Oh my god, Druid shoes, finally. Too fucking bad, I don't need them. Actually, I say that, but that one has more HP. Again, let's make shoes. Okay, we don't ha okay, I was about to say we don't have enough for these just yet. Oh wow, I forgot. I don't get any more HP from those. So it's literally just running straight to the boss, really. I was about to say, excuse me? You guys only benefit from, like, killing these guys. They fish your stamina. God damn it. Thank you. 
Ah, and now you got an infantry stamp. Go, go, get, go, go make the road. <laughs> Damn you. Yeah, for the reputation would probably be the only reason I would like actually come back and do that. Not say anything new-ish. Doesn't seem like it so far. Okay, a lot better stats. I can throw these out now. That on. Made for this, I can do a wolf form build or physical form. There we go. Excuse me. Oh shit, wrong one. Oh god, I s wait, what? I still need one for a bat? Shit. Fuck. I think I threw out the last piece of gear that was actually like low level too. Oh no, pants, 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 pants. Thank God. That just depends on if the game actually wants to give me my item. Okay, so I can put on these gloves. These gloves have no stats. Shit. I was about to say, maybe I can get it off of the 20. I say, thank God I still have 20s. Because I was thinking to myself, ooh, this could be bad. Okay, so we're almost done. We just need pants and boots. So what's going on with the pants right now? It's like, okay, I need to go. Fuck. I gotta go grab more claws. I thought I was done with claws. Apparently I am not. Okay, so now... We have the sprite boots done. So now we gotta go grab some more of these. And more of these. We also gotta clear out some space too. Now that we're actually truly done with that. Unless it feels like it wants to actually fell for once.
game? I was about to say, excuse me? What's going on here? Say, for some reason, this, my skills weren't going off. Yeah, I can make boots. are done now great to my slacks bruh great to my slacks and we're gonna go no magic grid damn uh I, I we would go strength and intel There we go, we got our magic bonus. I guess I'm still surprised I haven't gotten a single staff yet. Is this, I was about to say, is this HP even going down? Barely. And why does this feel a lot slower? Huh. Oh, that's why I'm taking feel like I'm taking damage because I forgot he has freeze and freeze takes off a percentage of HP and once it wears off. Oh no, I'm still taking damage, like actual damage. Because freeze should do that. Or you should just take off like a chunk of HP. And that never like restored itself. So what's going on here? Cast reduction to say, well, lower interruptions and more HP. Okay, so that's going to be the next gear I make. Finally, damn staff. Now nah, I can't use it to the next level, <laughs> you ass. Oh shit, I didn't look for what's his name. I think I could run back in there and still look for him, right? Because the dungeon's cleared. No, 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 no. We're not going to have this fog shit. We're, we're going to stop that. Cease. Cease your activities.
Man, that is such a great feature. The hell did all you guys come from? Oh, you guys are probably following me. But I said, that's such a great feature. I will say this. I do need to clear these guys out because these guys will aggro on a lot faster. Huh? Okay, so sometimes... Blaze of Glory doesn't really do anything for some reason. Sometimes Blaze of Glory just... Just like fizzles is what it feels like. I hate to use a fucking Wizard 101 like reference, but... It sometimes doesn't work or go off. Oh, these guys are still in my XP range. I didn't actually know that. We got next dungeon. Where is he? There he is. We got plenty of time. He's not up here. Yeah, it just sounds like it misses everybody. Oh yeah, shit, I can put this on now. Thank god I actually have damage now. Especially since the freaking staff sprite didn't want to drop for me anytime soon. Okay, so we checked through all that. It's not over there. What about the spider area? Over here anywhere? If anything, if he's not over here, he's in Rubris area. Yep. Exactly where he is. Surprised they haven't made like their own little consumables too.
Oh, these guys are in my... These guys are in my range, too? Maybe I'm just fucking blind. I don't actually have a staff that I can kill them with, but I don't mind, like... Grooving them all up. I say it just took ages the first time. Yeah, I, I definitely missed them. This should also be max right. Feel like I'm blind. Feel like I missed something. Actually, he's normally always in that first area too. Yeah, over here. Oh, he's not over here this time. That means he's down here somewhere. And I missed him. Unless, okay, I was about to say, unless he's in here. Wow, uh, we got the easiest route for him, actually. Alright, nice. I guess that is that is it. That is pretty much it. That was actually fun. I actually enjoyed myself. Like re going through the dungeons and actually being able to like do all that. Actually a lot of fun. Now we're going to store those inside of there. Um, actually, that's an archive thing. Is it old? Oh, it's an A, right? Yeah. That was the A. Terrible hammer. Okay, noted. And we can sell the rest here. Actually, I might want to keep those because um, scavenge. I'll probably have to scavenge a lot. Also, makes you think is. Has the crafting rates been messed with too? Because in Violet, it seems like the crafting, the like um, collecting rate has been increased to where it feels like it's always a hundred percent chance of getting your material. This does not because we've already been through one of the goals to where we uh scavenged and only got the um, 
spirit crystals and we didn't get the um, other part of it the essence so that's not 100% so the crafting rates are still probably more than likely the same I haven't been touched at all but up to what level is that that's the real question So, a lot of stuff we're going to have to look at and try and understand. But with that said, I'm going to end it off there. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, and I'll see you guys next video. To where we'll actually like uh, start back farming on Violet as well. Next video is Violet. So we're just basically jumping back and forth between Violet and Newcraft. Getting, you know, basically the gist of both of them at the same time with that said i will see you guys in the next one until then he's out hope you guys enjoyed because i still know that command or shortcut <laughs>